Another loud crash from upstairs shook me out of my shocked state as the Pruitt's uncle and nephew wreaked closet-building havoc. I had half a mind to go up there and give them their walking papers, but once a crew of carpenters starts a job in your house, you're pretty much stuck with them until they're through. And the job always takes longer and is more complicated than they let on before they start. I gathered myself and sighed in resignation, acknowledging with a sinking heart that I had to put up with them for the duration, as well as the possibility that Luann would share her suspicions on the state of my marriage with everybody she met. All I could hope for was that people would laugh her off. With my reputation, surely no one would believe her, since Luann was known for exaggerating everything she passed on. Most people didn't give her stories the time of day. Of course, that didn't prevent them from being passed on to somebody else. Lillian, I said, heading for the one person I always turned to in time of trouble. I pushed through the swinging door into the kitchen, just so tired of putting up a good front, only to have it so easily penetrated by Luann's wild speculations. Lillian, I think it's all falling apart. 